Welcome to JMZ V-Learning program. This is grade 10 science. The name of the lesson is characteristics of organisms. Before I going to start this lesson, I want to ask a question from you. What is life? Shouldn't we know the answer about this question? So let's try to find out this answer. Characteristics of living organisms. So, my question is what is the meaning of living? So, now we are going to try to find the answer for this question. The simply characteristics of living organisms. How many characteristics of living organisms are there? How many are there? Eight characteristics. So, there is a word. So, when you are just familiar with this word, then you can uh, remember those characteristics. What is the word? Mrs. Grain. What is it? It's a name. Mrs. Grain. So, these one by one letter represented one characteristic. Mrs. Grain. So, now I am going to discuss about this Mrs. Grain. Mrs. Grain. There are eight characteristics now. First one, M represented by the movement. R means respiration. S means sensitivity. There is another name for this sensitivity. It is irritability and coordination. Those are the living characteristics. So, what are the characteristics? Movement, respiration, sensitivity and the G represented growth, and development. are represented respiration e means excretion And N means nutrition. How many characteristics are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. There is another one. 
it's not uh, it's not familiar with this word but there is a it it is cellular organization so today we are going to discuss those eight characteristics of organism first we are going to discuss about movement movement means what is the movement change the location of their whole body or parts of their body we can we considered it as a movement so in here movement the whole organism just like bacteria and animals who are the bacterians there are so many bacteria you are familiar with acetobacter nitrosomonas nitrobacter those are the bacteria and the part of the organism some just animal they are just moving with part of their body both those animals belong to the it also we consider it as a movement in here so not only the animals but also some plants also they are animal just move their body be, uh, protect from the predators plant also move their part of the body to the light so in here who are the animals and who are the plants that move their bodies now we are just discuss about that now we are going to discuss so some animals are there just like who are the animals that show the movements take amoeba amoeba is a one type of protista this animal belong to the category of microorganism so when i'm going to write the scientific name definitely i'm just underlining it so amoeba what kind of appendages that uh, that used for the locomotion it's a zeudo podia and the famous example is human so what they use the limb legs for their locomotion these are some example for the movements and the plants we can plants positive geotropism and negative geotropism those plants responds to the stimulus now we have the idea about the movement so can you see this animal this is sea animal what is it sea anemone sea anemone move their tentacles whereas the tentacles can you see these are the this is we call it tentacles these are the tentacles they are just moving those tentacles only that means the part of one part but jellyfish jellyfish like this those are we call it tentacles tentacles they are just they are they are moving of their whole body these are we call it tentacles so uh, did you ever know in which animal that um, is scared for this jellyfish only the, the famous animal is what shark shark it's definitely scared for this jellyfish because when they are just touching those tentacles suddenly what happened there is a current in these tentacles so so shark normally when when the 
see uh, jellyfish is they are they are not uh, swim in those in in those areas when the jellyfish are there because they are just scared about those tentacles some animals can only move part of their body i already discussed that part and most of animals can move their whole body just like we i also just moving here and there no i can move all the body part right so human uh, rabbits monkeys most of the vertebrates we consider as that means uh, most of animals can move their body and plants i already told some plants responds to the stimulus plants move when they grow when they grow it's move for what for see their light roots grow towards the center of the earth i told there are there is a when we consider gravity in the downside we it's considered it as a positive because those roots grow towards the earth we call it positive geotropism those are the shoot part it's away from the earth we consider away from the gravity we consider this part is negative this part is neg negative this part is positive so i uh, here now this is the most important facts of movement now we are just moving to the we already discussed movement now now we are just moving to the are represented by respiration what is it respiration now we are just going to discuss about the respiration the meaning of the respiration is what almost all of living cells that means all cells of living organisms need energy what we need is energy so if the word is if the word of energy is there that means respiration right so res, uh, energy is produced cells during the respiration in here normally the simple meaning is energy is break down energy respiration break down energy rich molecules mean we considered as glucose lipids glucose is what is the chemical formula of glucose c6 h12 o6 respiration we can categorize into two aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration means presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration means absence of in here we should know about respiration means what is the simply meaning of respiration just like energy break down energy respiration we can categorize into two aerobic res respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration means presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration means absence of oxygen now we have the idea of the respiration now breathing normally we here breathing is not a respiration remember that all the children uh, everyone knows that uh, know that the respiration is a some kind of uh, breathing is a some kind of respiration but breathing is not a respiration breathing is what gas exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide gas exchange between the organisms and the environment we are just taking the oxygen and releasing the carbon dioxide to the 
environment. So, breathing is not a respiration. Remember that breathing is not a respiration. Breathing is what? Breathing is exchange. Which exchange? It is a gas exchange between organism and environment. So, these are the different ways of breathing. You can see it, right? So, there is a chicken and sponge, fish, caterpillar. Those are the animals that they are just showing different breathing, right? So, vertebrates, a lot of vertebrates using the lungs. Invertebrates, uh, spider is there, he is just using the book lung. Sponge is and caterpillar, fish use, the, all the fishes are gills. See the difference, right? So, now we have the idea of movement and respiration. There, there is another main point is there. Do you know the balance chemical equation of respiration? Now, we are going to just see this balance chemical equation of respiration. First one I am going to discuss word equation. Glucose Glucose plus oxygen goes to carbon dioxide plus water. And energy also there. This is the word equation of respiration. Now, we are going to write the this is the chemical balance chemical equation in a word. This is the word form now. This is the chemical formula. Glucose means C6 H2L O6. Oxygen, you can write it O2. When you are writing the chemical equation, you should write the physical state also. Oxygen is a gas form. Glucose we considered it as it as a aqueous form. Now releasing which kind of gas? It's a carbon dioxide gas. Water H2O liquid plus energy. This is the balance chemical equation of what? Respiration. These are the reactants and these are the products. Now, yeah, you already know about the balance chemical equation of respiration and the meaning and who are the animal, who are the animals that show the breathing system, those things you already know. So, now you, you have the idea breathing is not a respiration. Those things main point. Now, you got the idea about the movement and respiration. Now, we are going to discuss about sensitivity. So, there is another name for sensitivity, irritability and coordination. So, we are going to, uh, we are going to check what is this sensitivity. So, here the simple meaning of sensitivity is 
living organisms can detect or sense we can just sense detect sense changes in the environment so no, not only the animals but also plant they can they can detect the sense environment outside the body environment inside the body so we can feel the sense according to the environment so change in the environment stimulus what is the meaning of stimulate stimulus is change in the environment stimulus the meaning of stimulus is change in environment so organisms responds to the stimulus not only the animals but also plants when you were in grade 9 you already know the meaning of stimulus now turn to page 147 so irritability and coordination still you are not familiar with these words no now we are just going to discuss irritability and coordination irritability and coordination stimulus those words stimulus means a change which is strong a change which is strong enough to bring about a response enough to bring bring a response we call it stimulus now what are the things what are the things we are going to now check the stimuli what is it we are going to check the stimuli so what are the stimuli detected by the organs here eye ear nose tongue and skin those are the example for stimuli now here you already know difference between the stimulus and stimuli now we are going to see the irritability students irritability means ability to respond to stimuli now you already know stimuli stimuli is nose tongue ear those things so those things ability to respond to stimuli receives from where receives from internal and external environment internal and external environment internal and external environment so this is known as irritability so those are the word still you are not familiar so now we have the idea irritability and stimulus and stimuli so here some example are there what is it mimosa the famous example when you touch the uh, mimosa what happened to that plant that plant sleeping or shrinking right sleeping sleeping those plants it's just like so that means those plants sensitive sensitive for what when you are touching these plants they are just sensitive to your touch leaves of thorn tamarind sesbenia fall at night that means these plant leaves are sensitive to the light so now we are moving now we have the idea of sen sensitivity that means irritability and coordination now we are just moving to the other part the new one is growth and development so what is the meaning of growth the simple meaning is increase in size growth means increase in size so here now we are going to uh, see the difference between growth and development usually increase in number of cell and increase in the size of the cell we call it growth always needs to make new proteins new proteins we need what new proteins animals stop growing at a certain size just like us we are just growing in a certain size just as an example just think when you were in the little leg that much of height is still are you in that much of height no no so that means animals stop growing at a certain size plants never stop growing this is the difference between animals and plants this is the difference between animals 
and the plant. Animals stop growing at a certain size. Plants never stop growing. So, development. Development means acquiring tissues, organ. The simple meaning of development is acquiring tissues, organ. Now, you have the idea of sensitivity and uh, sensitivity and growth and development. Now, the reproduction. Reproduction in here, when uh, you can study more about the reproduction, about when you will uh, go to the grade 11, so you can idea, uh, there is a lesson about the reproduction is still in here, when in grade 10 we are just only the discuss simple part here. Reproduction we can categorize into two, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Re reproduction means production of new individual organisms. Reproduction of what? Production of new individual organisms or produce new offsprings. We call it reproduction. There are two types of reproduction, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Sexual reproductions, two parents make sex cells, female and male. They are just produce sex cells. And in here, variation is brought by sexual reproduction. Remember that variations occur from why? which reproduction? Sexual reproduction. And asexual reproduction means one parent, not one parent. Here, sexual reproduction is two parents. See the difference. Sexual reproduction, two parents. Asexual reproduction, one parent. Produce offsprings by itself. No variations. There is no any variation is brought by sexual reproduction. Here you can see the this is female and male. There are two parents are there. Male and female. This is we call it zygote. The combination of female and male, uh, they are just making a zygote and what happened after that embryo, finally you can see the baby. This is the sexual reproduction. And asexual reproduction is the example of uh, sexual reproduction is plant. Uh, they can only the one parent produce the offsprings by itself. No variation is brought by sexual reproduction. No variations occur. Um, no variation is brought by sexual reproduction. There is no any variation in sexual reproduction. And though some of all, all of springs, of springs means these things we call it claw. What we call it claw. So, now next we are going to discuss about the discuss about the excretion. Excretion means sum of all chemical reactions, sum of all chemical reactions in organism. So, in here, what is the simply meaning of excretion? The waste product, there are so many waste products now. The waste products from the body, from where? From the body that are produced during the metabolism. What is the meaning of metabolism? Metabolism is known as excretion. Now we are going to check the metabolism. We can divide into metabolism. Anabolism man. Anabolism and catabolism. Catabolism means breaking down complex compound into small compounds. Breaking down complex compound into small compound. In catabolism, they are just releasing energy. Release energy. Anabolism means, now here is breaking down now. Anabolism means they are just complex compounds. 
turns into a small compound from small compounds. But here the problem is what? They are store energy, not release. So these are the two types of anabolism and catabolism. You have the idea about those things. So in your uh, turn to page 148, see those are the what? Sweat, water and salt and the exhale gas carbon dioxide, water, urine, urea, water, salt. These are the excretory waste products. So plant releasing the carbon dioxide when they are during the respiration oxygen during the photosynthesis through the what through the uh, lenticles and stomata of the leaves so this is the in here uh, anabolism catabolism metabolism metabolism is the meaning of metabolism is the combination of anabolism and catabolism Catabolism, I told, breaking down complex compound into, into small compounds and in that time they are just releasing the energy. Anabolism means what? They are complex compounds from simple compounds. Complex compound from simple compounds within the living body. In that time energy is what? Store. Right? Energy is stored during, the, during this process. You have to just... See the difference in between anabolism and catabolism. Animals, these are the waste product. Urea in urine, sweating out of toxin, breathing out carbon dioxide. Plant, store metabolic waste. I told the meaning of metabolic. But plant, what did they do? They are just storing metabolic waste in leaves under until leaves fall off. So, this is the main part of the excretion. Now, we are, we are just moving to the nutrition. Nutrition means, the simply meaning is acquiring. Acquiring and using raw materials needed for life processes. Right? We need nutrition for you know. If we, if we do not have the food, then can you even imagine what happened to us? So, two categories of nutrition. What are they? Heterotrophic nutrition, autotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition means, simply meaning is eating others. What are they? Example, herbivorous, omnivorous, carnivorous and saprophyte. When you were in the grade 6, you already know who are the herbivorous, who are the omnivorous, carnivorous and saprophyte. Now, I am going to just discuss about autotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition means self-feeding, self-feeding. So, there are two types of autotrophic nutrition, chemo-autotrophic and photo-autotrophic. Chemo-autotrophic means, what are the examples for the chemo-autotrophic? Unique bacteria. There are some special bacteria that they are just Showing the which kind of nutrition? It is a chemo-autotrophic. And the other one is photo-autotrophic. I already I told photo means what is the simply meaning of photo? What is the simply meaning of photo? Photo-autotrophic. Photo means light. Those plants and algae, they are just response to the light. In here, we are going to discuss about the, the major fact of photosynthesis. What is it? Photosynthesis. Photo means light. Synthesis means process. Then, the simple meaning of photosynthesis is light process. So, what is the chem balance chemical equation of photosynthesis? Now, we are going to look at it. Balance chemical equation of photosynthesis. First 
we are going to discuss the word equation. Word equation, huh? carbon dioxide plus water goes to glucose plus oxygen. By using what? Chlorophyll and sunlight. Chlorophyll and sunlight. This is the word equation of photosynthesis. So, what is the simple meaning of photosynthesis? Light process. Photo means light. Synthesis means process. That means light process. So, here this is the balanced word chemical equation of photosynthesis. What is it? Carbon dioxide plus water goes to glucose plus oxygen by using the chlorophyll and sunlight. So, now I am going to write the this in a chemical form. Carbon dioxide, you have to write the balanced chemical equation. C6 6CO2 carbon dioxide definitely gas plus 6H2O goes to glucose C6H2LR6 that is aqueous plus oxygen 6 or 2 oxygen is a gas right this is the balance chemical equation of photosynthesis when when in the all level examination when they ask about the right the balance chemical equations you have to write this one or this one both are correct whether they are asking the right the uh, right the chemical balance chemical uh, balance word chemical equation of photosynthesis you have to write this one right so here this is the equation of photosynthesis carbon dioxide plus water goes to glucose plus oxygen by using the chlorophyll and sunlight so what are the reactants in here what are the products those are the reactants And those are the products. So, we already know there are two types of nutrition, heterotrophic nutrition, autotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition we can categorize into two, chemoautotrophic and photoautotrophic. Photoautotrophic, what are the examples for photoautotrophic? Plants and algae. Now, here this is the last characteristics of living organism. This is the organization of cells. The simple meaning is cellular organization. This is the form of, this is the organization of living organisms. First one, the smallest one, the basic unit is what? Cell. The basic unit is what? Cells. The basic unit of living thing example muscle cell. So, you can see this is the what? This is red blood cell. These are the cells. And tissues. Tissues means a group of a combination of cells we call it tissues. A combination of cells we call it tissues. So, what are the example for tissues? 
cardiac muscle tissue. This is the cardiac muscle tissues. Where you can see the cardiac muscle tissues? Normally in your heart you can see this type of tissues. Cardiac. So, other one is organs. Organs means the combination of tissues we call it organs. What are the organs? Heart. Other than that, skin is also organ. Skin is the largest organs in human body. Right? So, this is the heart. You can see. And system. System means combination of the organs. We call it system. Example, circulatory system, respiratory system, excretory systems, nerve system, these are the systems, right? So, in here we, as an example, circulatory system and the organism, the final one, the major one, the major one is what? Organism, the combination of systems, we call it organ organism. So, as an example, the basic example is what? Human. Now, we have the basic knowledge of cellular organization. Look at this is the example. Tissue, this is the cell. The smallest and the, the basic unit of living thing is cells. Now, the combination of cells is tissues. And the combination of tissues is what? Organs. Organs. The combination of organs is system. The combination of system is the final one is organisms. So, this is the now, can you tell me what are the eight characteristics of organisms? So, first one is what? I told this uh, shorter word, right? What is that? Mrs. Grain. Mrs. means M represented by movement, R represented by respiration, S re represented by the sensitivity, O irritability and coordination, G represented by growth and development, R represented by respiration, uh, reproduction um, and the um, E represented by excretion, N represented by nutrition and the other one is the final one of the cellular respiration is, is the ca common characteristics of organisms. So, other than that, now we are just moving to the other one, this is virus. These days are common topic, right? You are already familiar with the, this word because it is virus. Can you see this is the bacteriophage virus, right? This is the bacteriophage structure. Can you see this is DNA and the head is there, neck is here, tail and what are these things? This is the pins are there, end plate and the tail. Tail, neck, head, DNA, those are the main parts of the bacteriophage structure. A virus is not living nor is it considered as dead. Some things, some living things, we can't categorize it whether it is living or whether it is non-living. So, uh, the best example for that is virus. So, it must have a host, host cell to reproduce and perform life function. A virus has either DNA or RNA. Not both either DNA or RNA. Not both. Tail fibers. Those tail fibers can you see it? These are the tail fibers. This is. A specific protein receptor. That is why some virus can affect only humans. Only plants or only certain type of animals or plants. So, can you guess what kind of virus is this? This is the famous virus in these days. This is what? This is coronavirus. Why we are just calling this type of virus it's a, as a corona? What is the reason for that? Because this virus has a crown. This virus has what? Crown. If they have a crown, that's why they are just represented. It's a coronavirus. This is Ebola virus. It is different from coronavirus. You can see it. And this is what? This is the famous one AIDS. This is AIDS virus. And those are the famous viruses in these days. Um, and this is it. 
So, I hope you understood this lesson and before that I am going to summarize this lesson. This is the categorize of organisms. What are the 8 categori categorize of organisms? I told the word is what? Mrs. Grain. M represented by moment. R respiration. S represented by sensitivity, G represented by growth and development, R here reproduction, E excretion, N means nutrition, what is the fi final one? Cellular organization. So, I hope you understood all these facts. Hmm? So, just when you are just, um, what are the main points in respiration? You have to know about the balanced chemical equation of respiration and the balanced chemical equation of photosynthesis. These are the main facts and the what are the waste products in the excretion and cellular organization from cells, tissues, organs, systems. The final one is organisms and here movements, plant movements and animal movements. Those are the things you have to know. So, I hope you understood this lesson.